Welcome to Russia. Even before the result, people are celebrating because they know exactly what it'll be. A genuine, overwhelming yes to joining the Russian Federation. During the day, the few Russian troops in the streets weren't coercing the locals. They were besieging the remaining Ukrainian soldiers inside their barracks. Many local people regard them as friends. The West maintains the referendum is illegal since Russia signed an international agreement to guarantee Ukraine's borders. But a great many Russian-speaking people here believe they're being liberated from a country they never wanted to belong to. This is an historic moment, Oksana says. Crimea is going home. This is our land, and we're deciding its destiny. The flags on the voting booths may look like Russian colors, but in fact they're Crimea's colors too. There were only two choices on the ballot paper. One simple, do you want to be part of Russia? And one complicated, do you want to go back to the 1992 relationship between Crimea and Ukraine? You couldn't just say you wanted things to stay as they were. And because the boxes were transparent, it was easy to see how people had voted. I could only spot two anti-papers. Everything is okay and calm and friendly, says the woman in charge. But not everyone's so happy. In the rain and cold this morning, we went to the town of Bakchisarai, where a sizable majority of people are Tatars, Muslims who once owned the Crimea and were brutally uprooted under Stalin. Most are deeply unwilling to join Russia. And today, they were staying indoors. We've spoken to various Tatar people here. No one wants to talk on camera. No one's going out to vote. They're scared. But at another Tatar village, they were much more outspoken. There is nowhere to vote here because the locals won't let their buildings be used for it. Amir says, we're not afraid. Only the women are afraid for the children. This is our land. We're not going to become Russians. But the rest of Crimea clearly is. And tonight, the crowds were out in force, celebrating the foregone conclusion. John Simpson, BBC News, Simferopol.